Hey, I'm Kez Bracey, this is Tuts Plus. Welcome to Figma Layout Tips. If you're working with isometric illustrations, then Figma gives you a really cool way to handle modifying your original shapes into isometric perspective that's going to allow you to be able to resize things much more easily from that point forward. So I have a 200 by 200 tile here. I am going to rotate it onto a diagonal. I just held down shift then to control the increments of the rotation. And what I want to do is squash this diamond down so it takes on that isometric look. But if I grab this handle right now and shrink it, I'm not getting the desired effect. So what I'm going to do instead is group this rectangle just by itself. Now when I select it, if I drag this bottom handle up, I'm starting to get that squash look that we need. So I'm going to get that to the correct isometric perspective. If you're doing this for real, you want to be a bit more specific, get this onto a grid and make sure you have the exact right height. But just roughly, that gives me that isometric shape. Now I can ungroup this tile again. And now if I want to resize this tile, if I want to change its width or its height, I'm actually able to resize this tile in the directions that make sense for that isometric perspective. You can quickly create a column layout by using snapping and distribution. So we've got a few shapes here that are all horizontally aligned. So I'm going to grab the leftmost one and I'm going to use snapping to get it to align right there on the left border. And then I'm just going to hold down shift and nudge it over to the right a little bit. I'm going to do the same thing with the rightmost shape and then nudge it back to the left. Now I'm just going to select all of these shapes, go up to a range and then distribute horizontal spacing. And now we've got a perfect column layout. You can remove all of the space that is in between a series of objects. So I'm going to select all of these, go up to the menu, choose arrange, and then pack horizontal. And that gets rid of all of that horizontal space. You can do the same thing vertically. Select all objects, go up to arrange and choose pack vertical. And then you can also combine that with alignment tools to help you producing row and column based layouts. You can get some help with aligning objects precisely by making sure the rulers are turned on, which you can do with shift R. And then when you're moving a shape around, you're actually going to see its width and height represented in the rulers. So if I grab this shape here, You'll see that there's a space that's lit up on the rulers. And as I move the item around, you can see that that shape is updating on those rulers. So if I want to place this object at exactly 50 by 50, then I can watch closely in the rulers and I can see exactly when it's the right time to drop the item. Masks can be created really quickly in Figma. All you need to do is right click an object and select use mask. However, something important to be aware of is that you need the masking object to be grouped in with the item that you want to mask. So if I want to use this square to mask out this strip here, then I need to select both of them and add them to a group. So now I can select that square, choose use mask, and it masks out that strip for me. So that's five tips to help you with layout in Figma. Thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.